today we got uh, Mike out Chisholm Pond, and then there's three guys hauling manure at a different farm, and I'm going to be running the disc. These roads are so rough around us. I always have to slow it down. I'm only going 15 right now. This tractor goes 25, and I'm bouncing around like crazy here. As you can see, the field road's a little dusty. Got about 38 acres of uh, nitrogen stuff to plow under. Got about three spreaders going too, getting all the pen pack and the bed pack and all the manure hauled on it so we can work that in too. So this field I'm in right here now will be in uh, corn. So there's a couple more up there on this farm. Uh, temps were uh, below freezing last night and it looks like the next couple nights are going to be a little cold here yet so uh, we're just working on getting it all ready to get corn put into it. We'll make one more pass with the finisher. It's pretty dry out. We haven't got much rain in the month of last month in uh, April there. Could use a good inch one of these days as long as it's nice and slow. 45 degrees outside right now. Like I said, soil temps were 44. Out here with the John Deere 7260R. Brilliant 11 shank chisel plow. Just wanted to show you what we're kind of going to plow under. So this is a wheat field last year. After the wheat got taken off, plowed her under and we put some uh, well, it was oats and I think it was Italian ryegrass and some vetch. So this is kind of the grass and the vetch that kind of came through. So looks like some good nitrogen plow down. Uh, two or three guys haul manure on it, so we'll get some manure on it too, but that's the goal for today, get this plowed under. fields you see off there up there to the right are rye fields that we'll be chopping here in hopefully about 10 days it'll be ready but we'll see it might be a little later just have to see how the weather is that stuff really grows when it gets nice and warm but when it's cool like this it doesn't quite grow as well there's a field up there too there's a little wet spot right there where you can see it's pretty light Here you can see our rye field here. Uh, this is one of the first fields that we planted last fall after uh, corn silage there. It was pretty wet when we did it, but you can see it turned out pretty good. So if you haven't figured out how this disc works, basically you got a bunch of uh, concave discs there. There's a, they're called gangs, so like, that section over there is called a disc gang. There's a bearing on each side. Then there's a middle disc gang, and there's another one over there, and then you got the same thing in the back. The front ones on this side are pushing dirt that way, and in the back they're going back that way. And over here they're going that way and then that way. So that helps uh, kill our weeds, and it also makes a nice uniform seed bed here. That's what we need for uh, planting corn in the, for any crop. For we need a nice uniform seed bed. Those rolling baskets are just uh, helping with the clumps. These discs actually help break up clumps too. If you didn't have rolling baskets on the back, you could also have harrow, a harrow or something like that to help level it off. Those are more useful in like water areas because these uh, rolling baskets can plug up there. These uh, wheels on the outside are help, helping the outside stay level this way. There's one over there you can see they swivel. Um, what else? We got three hydraulics on this. One will raise and lower the disc out of the ground. The other will fold the disc up. And then the third one levels it out front to back like that. So that's kind of what we got going on here. A few uh, 
aren't familiar with these things or if you're my uh, nieces and nephews that like to watch these videos I was trying to make it a little educational for you because you may be wondering why we've always pulled this disc because we use it a lot it's really good at leveling out the fields and uh, stuff like that this field is chisel plowed which is what Mike's in right now hold on a second I gotta pull this up and turn around there's chisel plowed so that it's not quite the smoothest but the chisel plow he's using does a really good job of leveling out with that uh, leveler on the back of it we're going six and a half about right now miles per hour here getting her done as you can see, they haul some pen pack in front of me, so I'm chiseling that in too. This farm last fall, we were able to hose about 1 million gallons of manure over here, about four and a half miles from the hose. They niped it in, so that should be some good nitrogen. Plan to put some photosensitive sedan grass in here, so should make for a good crop. Back to Hammer and Hank. These grass strips that you see ahead of me are called waterways or ravines. Basically you leave them in the valley of the field and then the purpose is that they will catch water or catch dirt so that you don't have a huge uh, ditch in the field if you get like a big rainfall or gully washer. Or... So that's why we leave those. Um, Sometimes we'll come, if they're big, wide ones, we'll come through and uh, cut those and bale those up later in the year. Or else if they're just small ones, we'll just uh, use the bat wing or brush hog and uh, mow them down so the weeds don't grow in there. Also, if you just leave them, it seems like a lot of weeds grow throughout the year. Sometimes you leave waterways like that nice and big and then you still get water or ditches right next to it. So try to do your best and uh, hope for not a lot of rain all at once. The best part about this farm over here, probably about 60 to 70 feet away from a bald eagle right there. We got one nice tree over here that's got an eagle's nest in it. So. Always see this guy flying around for the last five or six years. America.
just about halfway done, I think, here with this field. That's done, and that is what we got left. Probably a little over half left. Still pretty dry out. Nice blue sky out today. Good views. It's 2 o'clock now. We're just about done here. And we're going to move to another field here. if that rock makes it to the end of the field. Hey, leaving it out here in the middle. Don't risk getting the cab all dirty either. It's awfully green out that way. I saved this field for last for a reason. I'll show you why right here. Up there to the right it's really wet. From this waterway up to that next waterway. We had to go around it when we chisel plowed it. We saved it till the end. You can see, I tried making a pass there, but I about got stuck on the last one. So there's a little water sitting in there. I'm thinking we'll get through it. We might just drag a wing out into that. Just to open it up and get it. So it can dry, start drying out. It's a little clumpy in here. Try not to get stuck again. We got stuck enough last year. We got through it once more. The next uh, pass will be the final challenge. I ended up going around it. I didn't want to ruin a good day out here because then Mike would have had to unhook to come pull me out if I got stuck. So it wasn't worth it. The guy making the next pass will be the one that decides whether to go through that or not. It won't be me getting stuck there. Done with that field. If everything goes according to plan, I'll have just enough fuel to do my next field. Fuel up and grease this and then head over by Michael somewhere. Find some more to do tonight. I'm lucky that Kurt's milking for me tonight, my brother. So I don't have to shut this down. you remember that chisel plowing video from like two weeks ago or so, two videos ago, that's this field, just hitting it with the disc, there's a lot of uh, grass clumps or whatever in here, or sod, trying to break those up, smooth it out a little bit, more rocks, there's a few more than anticipated, but hopefully it saves on a few repairs here. I was wondering why I was spinning so much in this field. Then I looked down and saw I was still in two wheel drive from being in the road. Told you I'd have enough fuel. Uh, we got that all taken care of. We're gonna go grab some fuel, some grease, and hopefully some food. Got a couple fields left. Marty was out here yesterday doing a whole bunch, so that helped out a lot. Looking good. They're calling for some rain tonight. We could use a little bit. It's getting a little dark out here. Oh, hey, Michael. We're back to the uh, somewhat square fields. Mike's down there, about two fields over. He's that light way off in the distance. He chiseled this earlier. Trying to catch up to him. It's working up real nice here. Well, it's just after 9 o'clock. Still going at her. Got about one bar of fuel left over here. A little bit of rain in the forecast, too. Takes for a long day when you get up at 3 o'clock to do chores, but. Get her done. Just started raining. Making my last pass. It's just a little guy. You can see it's about three feet wide. Right on cue. Needed this rain. Mike's about out of fuel. Worked out about perfect over here. Take 
this guy home and uh, finish up another day. So that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and be sure to check back for more guys. And of course it stopped raining already. Hopefully it uh, rained some overnight here. Need it bad.